Welcome back. Witness won the Rugby League Championship on Sunday, destroying Hunslet in the process. 66 points to 14. Best of the tries with commentator John Helm. Sorensen, now there are chances as the ball is moved along here. And Andy Currier will have the support on the right from Rick Thackeray. But that's going to stop Thackeray. He's passed away and Witness are on the scoreboard. Oh, Dow's kick well, came back off the Huntslet player. Unfortunately, the witness fell into the hands of Mackenzie. Now there's a chance for a player. He's taken the pass, and he's only got the fullback to beat. Will his strength and speed take it back then? Yes, they will. The high skipping of fire is in. Try number 42. Tony Myler, first time we've seen him. And it's a good start by Myler as well as he's got Mackenzie inevitably moving through the middle. Oh, Mackenzie, what a superb try by the Australian hooker. Oh, good ball inside for Sorensen, who's got to three men on his outside. Paul Hume on his inside. And the queuing up again, but Paul Hume sprints his way over. have the ball and it's coming out left and the fire's here and surely they won't stop him this time there he goes well what a way to celebrate winning the title there's kicks over the top and away they go again if he catches this one they're in more trouble Carrier's got it and the man inside him as well Hume it is Hume's going David Hume Stop. Two tries in a minute, and they're all getting in on the act. Kurt Sorensen, the captain, salutes the witness fans and shakes the hands of all the officials. Well done from the witness chairman. The trophy being presented by Gordon Robson, the managing director of Pass Yorkshire, and there it is. Witness of the Stone Fitter Champions of 1988. And enjoying those moments with us again, the man who's got a record 43 tries for Witness this season, Martin of Fire. Martin, very well done. Um, now, 12 months ago, you were playing Rugby Union. It's got to be about the most sensational transition from Union to League there's ever been. Yeah, so I'm told, so I'm told. I haven't really stopped to think about it. But, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> it hasn't been as as difficult as I probably originally envisaged, but um, uh, yeah, as you said, it's gone, it's gone very well, you know, I seem to have adapted to the game quite well. Why do you think? What do you, what do you attribute it to? <clears throat> I suppose th the team is playing quite well, I mean, it helps coming into a team that's playing well, playing alongside good players, I mean, that's, that always helps, I mean, anyone will tell you that. But also, I, I suppose, me personally, I, I seem to, you know, just be naturally akin to the game, I don't know, maybe it's because I'm fairly quick or, or what, I, I don't know. Do you think know. it would be easier for a winger to adapt, for example, than, say, a standoff or a scrum half or even a forward? Yeah, very much so. I mean, any player that has made the transition will tell you that it's far easier for a back to make the transition than a forward and much easier for a winger or a fullback to, to cross over than for a standoff or a scrum half. Now, talking of uh, standoff halves uh, of rugby union, a certain Jonathan Davis, it is rumoured, Martin, uh, could be playing rugby league very shortly. Now, here he is in action... Uh, for Neath uh, in Rugby Union. Do you think he could adapt? Yeah, well, I mean, he obviously shows great pace. He's got good balance, you know, can stand his feet well. And obviously he's got great passing ability, you know. That's one thing about players at Rugby League. They've got to have good vision, be able to pass, spot the gap, you know. He's grease lightning there, isn't he? Yeah, very much so, yeah. I mean, he's got good acceleration. And I said earlier, you know, that pace is a very big factor in the game. Whatever position you're in, if you're quicker than your opposite number, you know, you've, you've got the edge. Now let's talk a little bit about Witness now. Um, what were the celebrations like on Sunday night? Yeah, well, I don't think I've experienced anything quite like that at all in my life, I think. But I'm told that Wembley's even better, so I think I'm looking forward to that next week, season as well. What about touring Australia, which you're, you're going to do? Yeah, I'm obviously looking forward to that. So much has happened this season that, you know, the season keeps getting capped and capped again. You know, I haven't got time to really sort of sit down and see what you've actually um, achieved. Well, I'll, I'm sure I'll have plenty of time to do that, you know, when I'm retired. 
One quickie. What, what about your nickname, Chariots? <coughs> oh, that's just part and parcel of, <laughs> of the whole game. I think it just rhymes with a fire. Really. My name isn't actually a fire, but it's, it's pronounced off here. But you know that doesn't rhyme with flyer, so I think I'm stuck with a fire. Journalistic license, Martin. Chariots will stick, I think. I think so. Yeah. Thanks very much for being with us. Stay with us. We've got some good action coming <coughs> up too, because it's time.